Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. Um, today we are going to be learning on the topic radioactivity and our subtopic for today is the last bit of radioactivity is the applications and my name is Rose. So we are going to look at different places where radioactivity knowledge is used uh, like in our day-to-day -day lives. So one of the uses is in carbon dating. So uh, this is majorly used by archaeologists, especially when they want to get to know the ages of uh, fossils. So, for example, the radioactive carbon-14 nuclides usually produced uh, is produced when nitrogen-14 is bombarded with radiocum from the from the sun is used when they they die. So, when animals die, the carbon-14 starts to reduce as decay takes place by motion of beta particles. So using the decay curves of carbon-14, it's possible to estimate the age of animals since the carbon-14 present is in their tissues. So what they do, they just check the amount of carbon-14 and how much it has decayed. And then now they are able to use that information and do the calculation to get the amount of time that specific um, fossil has lived. It is also used in medication in the treatment of cancer. So we know that gamma rays is used to kill cancer cells. So the tumor is subjected to radiation and the gamma rays penetrate from carbon monoxide and is used in treating incurable growth. So skin cancers also can be treated by less penetrating radiation from or plastic sheets wrapped on the affected area. We were looking at how also medically uh, radioactivity can be used. It's also used to sterilize medical equipment. So it helps in killing uh, germs. So you notice some equipment are uh, usually put in a chamber containing uh, this, some of these rays, uh, radioactive rays. So this kills those germs and they're able to be used for surgery. It is also, radioactivity is also used in studying metabolic pathways. So metabolic pathways is basically for the uh, phosphate ions that occur in the fertilizer. So the radioactive isotope is used to trace how these metabolisms of various elements, especially in animals or in plants, are usually uh, move. So if you, the uptake of phosphate also is noted using a fertilizer containing a radioactive tracer using um, has helped uh, in escalation of the photosynthesis and protein synthesis. So it helps in the treatment also of thyroid diseases. So what they do, they place a radioactive tracer in the fertilizer. And when the fertilizer is applied to the plant, they're able to trace how that radioactive material works. And then they are, they are able to see the movement. So if they, they place the uh, fertilizer on the soil, they're able to see how the ions, the metabolic uh, components or elements move in the plant. Same case applies with uh, human treatment, like in the treatment of uh, thyroid diseases. It is also used to check the, thick, the thickness and it gauges the thickness of materials. Uh, so radiation passes through a material, decreases as metal gets thicker. Remember we talked about the emissions, that is the alpha beta and gamma and they usually are stopped by different blocks so the alpha was stopped by a paper uh, the beta particle was stopped by aluminium block uh, the gamma rays were stopped by lead so using that information it's possible to check the thickness of a certain material so it means if a material is very thick it means the radiation cannot pass through so the amount of penetration of beta or gamma radiation can be used to estimate the thickness of various materials like paper, metal, or plastic because they can actually pass through them. Then the radiation thickness gauge can also be used to control the thickness of sheets still emerging from a high speed or rolling layer. So 
level gauges were also used to measure the amount of liquid in fire extinguishers and gas cylinders. The radioactive compounds also are used to detect um, pipes that have busted, so it can be used in underground pipes, uh, especially the ones carrying water and oil. Uh, so the water and oil is mixed with the radioactive substance, which uh, when a leak happens, they are able to know, they are able to detect using the detector. And then it is also having an effect on the static electricity. So in the textile industries, for example, the presence of static charges usually attracts dust and fires and can cause fires. So when a radioactive element is placed in such industry, the radiation emitted will ionize air and the ion forms will attract the static charges. So this will min minimize problems like fires that are caused by static charges. So also radioactivity may be useful in different um, sectors, but it also has its own dangers. So one of the dangers is it has a very high ionizing effect, especially some, some radiation, that alpha radiation, they can change the living cells. So, and then exposure to this radiation can cause genetic mutation or chromosomal mutation, so it can change the overall how a cell looks like. So living things also are, are not advised to be exposed to radiation for a long time. Avoiding radiation will help because of the mutation that happens in the living cells. So one of the main uses of radioactive isotope is in production of electricity in the nuclear, by the nuclear reactors. So those who work in these nuclear reactors usually wear protective uh, devices that help them not to be exposed. So also accidental leaks of radiation can occur, so that's why they have to keep on being protective. We also know that using radioactivity, bombs, uh, weapons like bombs are, are made. Some of this weaponry can be used uh, negatively to cause harm to others. Uh, especially when there is war. So there are so many dangers of radioactivity, but also there are benefits of radioactivity. The, uh, the most important thing is to be able to protect because make sure you are protected because of its strong ionizing effect, because of how, how much it affects the living cells. When it comes to the testing of this question, this is very common when you are asked a radioactive question. And when this question is asked, it's not generalized, like give the, um, give the applications of the reactivity. They are going to go to specific areas in the industry. So you can be told to give the uses of the applications of the reactivity, for example, in medicine. You can be told to give the applications of the reactivity in agriculture. So it's usually, are uh, given like in a major industry so it is good that you understand what happens in each uh, sector and how radioactivity influences those sectors so that's it for today uh, so see you in the next session